Hello friends of 44F1, it took a while, but it happened. The Mercedes team has won a race in 2022. George Russell from Mercedes won the Brazilian Grand Prix. This was Mercedes' first win in 2022, something hard to imagine for a team that started the year so badly. Mercedes' performance was so incredible that besides Russell's victory, they still had Lewis Hamilton coming in second. Even though he was involved in a collision with Verstappen early in the race and lost several positions, Hamilton made a great recovery run to finish second. Andrew Shavlin was in charge of operations at Interlagos, as Toto Wolff did not travel to Brazil. After the race, the Mercedes principal celebrated the result that avoided the team's first winless season since 2011. The year has been a long journey. What a great result today by putting both cars up there. Also, brilliant win for George as well. I'm absolutely delighted. We haven't changed anything, it's literally the same car we had last week in Austin. It seems to work really well here, I think sprint racing offers a real challenge and we just wanted to get the cars ready, something the engineers and drivers did a brilliant job on. Shavlin also said that Toto Wolf, even away from Brazil, has followed all the team's work, he is delighted and will not miss the next race. George Russell had a brilliant race and was very praised by Shavlin. He is one of the drivers who is comfortable in the lead. You can tell he was very calm in the car and knew exactly what to do, but when he takes a chance to win like this at the first attempt, he's brilliant. He was in good rhythm all weekend. Even Mercedes didn't expect to be able to beat Ferrari and especially Red Bull anymore this year. We had to walk slowly in developing and understanding the problems. We kind of dismissed the season with how far off we were and the championship was out of reach. The focus has always been on learning and understanding the problems to develop tools needed to overcome them and find a way to make the car faster. Today's result is a product of the hard work of the aerodynamics department. With respect to our plan, we may be ahead of what we expected as far as performance is concerned. We thought it would take a long time to decrease the disadvantage thinking about next year. Being close means encouraging us more for next year. As we said earlier this year, we are only here to win and fight for championships. It will be great to get back to that possibility. With only Abu Dhabi left to go, Mercedes will have one more chance to show if they are really back or if the victory at Interlagos was something out of the curve. The fact is, Mercedes will close 2022 much closer to its rivals than everyone imagined. This only makes us wonder how strong the team will be in 2023 with the W14. Lewis Hamilton doesn't hide his desire to win his eighth title, and he should soon renew his contract for a few more years. George Russell is getting more and more mature, and in 2023, after one year running for Mercedes, he has already shown that he can also fight for the title. Hamilton and Russell have shown that they can work very well together and if the team starts well in 2023, we will have a very strong duo fighting for victories and this will make life very difficult for Red Bull and Verstappen. The season isn't even over yet, but I'm already looking forward to seeing how the teams will perform in 2023. And you, don't want to miss anything? Then come with us. This is 44F1, enjoy the video subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends.